Without further ado, let us say hello to the former World Series of Fighting Bantamweight champion, the man who was victorious on Friday in Utica, the magic man, Marlon Moraes. We don't wait for everyone, Marlon, but we wait for you, my friend. How are you? Very good. I'm sorry no about problem. that. Man. It was Ali's fault, right? No, it was my fault. Come on, really? Yes, I, I, st I stopped on the drive here. I just drove one hour, 45 minutes. Oh, my gosh. And I stopped to do something on the way. I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. I really appreciate it. Because you, you have a long trip to get here, right? Yeah. Tom's was, River? It was one hour, 45 minutes. I really Plus appreciate it. Plus city, because Traffic. it's farther from Hanzo here than... It's like 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I really appreciate it. Thank you I'm so sorry, much. You've been a very busy man as of late. Congratulations. Thank you so much, man. Happy to be here. Yes. First time. How know, about this, so, right? That, that's nice, man. Yes. You've come a long way, my friend. Yeah. Wow. What a great yes. performance. I, I've watched it. It's so beautiful to watch that finish, to watch the kick, to watch how you set it up. How many times have you watched it? Maybe 20. 20 times. Yeah, at least. You have to admire least, your work, right? At least. But... We, we are training for this fight for a long time, maybe yeah. six months. So I probably drilled that kick more than 10,000 times. Really? That yeah. particular one? Yeah. Bro, we, tra we train hard. Yeah. We train hard and every every kickboxing, every boxing practice, we, we've been repeating and been doing to, to, to try to reach the perfection, you know? And I, I don't think it was perfect, but... Landed what wasn't perfect? perfect? I what don't did know. You do it wrong? Was, was very good, but... I don't know, you know, my body a little bit, the adjustment, but I'm glad, you know, I landed, it was a hard shot, and I was able to get the knockout. Were you looking for that? Like, was that part of the game plan, to look for that kick? Was definitely. There... definitely yes. Definitely. definitely. I, we saw the opening, Mark Henry, you know, that guy, Man, right? Yes. The crazy guy. Yes. He watches his fights, like, five times a day. Wow. Not just his, but everybody in the gym opponent. Yeah. We can't believe how he finds time to run the pizzeria, train all of us. Still watch tapes and I don't know. He probably sleeps two, three hours a day. Wow! And he he told me, it's it's hard for him. He can he can see very well the left side, the kicks, and we, we train a lot to try get him think that I was doing something else, and wow. so I could land the kick. And he's a guy that lands a lot of hard shots. We were we were training a lot of wrestling for this fight too. I, I was I was gonna take him down 100. percent But did you think it would be that early? Like, I know you... Nah, nah. I knew I could knock him out with the kick. Okay. But I didn't know it was going to be that fast. And so what's your reaction when you see him drop from the kick 30 seconds in? When I see him in? drop, I, I, I thought, man, I'm not going to need a takedown to get him to the ground. Sure. I'm going to go now. And I just went, and I, I, he was still strong, I felt. He wanted to get up. I hold him, and I was able to land a couple shots on the side of the head. The first one I land, he kind of dropped. Yeah. The second one, he kind of wake up. Yeah. And <laughs> the third one, he start to... Finish. End. Dan, big Dan, stop it. You've had a lot of big fights, um, a lot of important fights, but considering the back and forth between you guys, does this one feel the best? Yeah, it was a lot of bullshit yeah. before, right? Yeah. Even after, man. That's we'll crazy. get to that in a second. Yeah, even after, it was a little bullshit, but it was good, man. I enjoyed the whole of the process. You yeah. Know? And when I was in the cage, when the, he was about to introduce me, I felt, I felt the fight in, on me, you know? And sometimes you fight, but you like, Feel a little, little jiggle, a little bit something. But that day, I said, man, I want, I want to throw, I want to land, and I want to perform, and I want to do what I know. And I never felt so good for a fight, and I was ready for five rounds. Why do you think you felt so good for this fight? I don't know, man. All the, all the, all the media, all the, the, the process through the fight, how hungry I was to fight him, the little provocations, you know. We did the media signing, and he was before me, uh. and he did his sign an autograph to me and left me on the table. Hey, uh, this is the autograph of the future UFC champion, Jim Rivera. Oh. And I got that one. I put right on my refrigerator. Wow. And I look at that every day. You know, that make me push a little bit more, push extra. And what he said, the fact that he said I didn't deserve to fight him, and the nice bullshit lies, this make me a better fighter, you know, make me push more, and I'm very thankful for him for this. Did you see each other in the hotel leading up to the yeah, fight? Did yeah, yeah. What little, was that little like? Little drama, you know. Little drama. What happened? Nothing will intimidate me, man. Yeah. These guys have no idea where I grow up, man. I grew up with friends dying in the school. Uh, like uh, when I was six years old, I, I went to school and and my my teacher said, oh. This guy, Injo, Injo, it's Indian. 
he dies. Like, why? Why? Oh, because he was problem with drugs. And in my school, always happening stuff like that. And six years old? Yeah, I grow up. I grow up in a, in a favela, you know. And my life was hard. I lost people from my family, you know. The problem with everything. Nothing will scare me, man. Nothing. Nothing. Only scares me if I couldn't do anything for my family. But a man will never scare me. Mm. And all fight week, a little bit intimidation, you know, but I don't care. What you gonna do that I never see in my life, right. you know? We're in America. I was in Brazil, you know? Yeah, you laugh at this. Yeah. No it's problem. Good. Thankful for the UFC security. They were very good. They were with me all the time. Oh, really? I didn't ha I have all my team, but these guys were with me all the time, mm. you know, and after the fight, a little bit So what happened drama. after the fight? What's the drama? Tell us. Man, the drama's funny, you know. What, <laughs> what happened? Because my, my manager, Ali, yeah. he's trying to apologize and, like, everything's done. We yeah. fought already, man. That's it. It's a sport, you know, peace. And he's trying to shake Jimmy Hands and his wife. And it was a big misunderstanding. Ali never say anything bad to his wife. He thought so, but... Even Jim understands, but Ali's talking with them and his coach comes in. His name's Tiger, I, I don't even know his name. Mm. He comes in and like try to be a tough man to Ali and maybe start a fight, but man, this guy, this guy's like 50s. Ali is 40 and Ali, man, Ali give hard times to fighters. Mm. He could kill that guy, man. I, I'm glad they didn't fight, you know? I'm got very close? glad. Got close, man. Really? That, I'm, I'm glad Ali didn't hit him. Ali got heavy hands. <laughs> I know, he punched me before, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. He's, he's a fighter, you know? Punching for sparring, right? Yeah, Not like when you're arguing. We spar, no, we spar, yeah, no. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we spar together. Okay. So, everything got settled, okay. you know? And Jeez. They laugh, the security comes in. Thanks, God. <laughs> was Jimmy involved too, or? He, no, he's uh, trying to stop his coach. Oh, really? Wow. His coach was the madman there, okay. you know? And his family was a little upset too, you know. I tried to say hello and they they want to kill me a little bit. Uh. Try spit on me. What? That's okay, bro. They that's tried to spit on you? Yeah, that's crazy. Did it hit you? No, no, I no. The sec UFC security is the best. Wow. And after that, we went to the hotel, ate some pizza, and now it's all done. celebration. So for you, it's done? It's done, you, you moved know? on? I moved it on and I want to look forward and... Next challenge, you know. I saw a picture. Your coach, Mark Henry, showed me a picture of you guys in the cage, all hugging. You, um, uh, uh, Mark Henry, Carol Almeida. There was one other person. Frankie there. and Anderson. Frankie, of course, yes. Um, and, and, and your wife on FaceTime. Yes. Because your son had to go sleep? Mm -hmm. My son is three, you know. Yeah. I don't want to have him still on a fight. Sure. And she's pregnant, my wife. Oh, wow. You know? Congratulations. And my mother-in-law was there, too. So they all stay in the hotel. And my my coach said, "Oh, you gotta tell her. You gotta tell her, Mark." And I called her. And that must have been nice. That was nice. She stayed up or she was sleeping. She was up. She was up. Yeah. Now, if your mother-in-law was there, why didn't she come to the fight alone? She doesn't want my mother-in-law or my wife. No, your mother-in-law stayed with your son. No. No. My she... wife's pregnant. Okay. I didn't much, want any too much, too much emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how far along is she? She's 17 weeks. Okay, okay. So you don't want you just no. That's okay, you know. Does she watch it live? It's good for me too, you know. It's my focus. It's my fight, you yeah. know. I wanna let she away. So two kids now, two you're gonna kids. have. That's it. That's it. You're done. Yeah. That's exciting. Do you know? So you have a boy. Yes, yeah, second boy. Second boy, great. You want them to be fighters too? No. No, <laughs> no way. Hopefully not. No. But if they wanna, nothing I can do. You'll support them. Yes, definitely. So you talk, wow, your, your upbringing is crazy. Is this all like kind of surreal for you that you've become what you've become? Like you're on the cusp of fighting for a championship to be the best in the world, right? And, and with that comes a lot. You say you grew up in the favelas. Yeah. With people dying around you, with not a lot of money probably. No. Did you ever even dream of this or was this no. so far-fetched? No. Things just happened, man. I was in a rough time, you know. I, I was more kickboxer, but I always, I was done jujitsu. And I have opportunity to start MMA. I knocked a couple guys out. I lost a couple fights in the beginning. My career was kind of up and down. And I start training in New Jersey with these guys. Mm. And I start training. A lot of people don't know, you know. People talk about Ali, you know, this, a lot of bullshit. But I was sparring with him. And he like, man, who are you? And I said, man, I'm Marlon. How's your record? And I said, oh, my record is this and that, not too good. I'm going to get you a fight. I said, what to who? And he like, Miguel Torres said, 
really? <laughs> I didn't believe. I, I laughed, and he like, man, I got you the fight. I said, no, you bullshit. You're not, you're not saying truth. Like, yes, I got you the fight. You're gonna fight him. They accept. They think he's gonna beat you, but I think you're gonna beat him. <laughs> this is how everything starts, yeah. and I just, I just very thankful to to go to New Jersey, man, to meet with Frankie, Mark, Ricardo, yeah. and Edson. We all put this hole in the blend, and and I start to learn. And I'm a martial artist now, and like you said, about to fight for the world title, be, be the best, and I, I'm gonna be the best. Why did you go to New Jersey? Like of all places, why there? I was in Florida. Yeah, Jupiter, Me and right? Edson, we were training there, and we kind of wanted something different. And Edson went there first, and he said, "Man, the train there is amazing." I, and I, I, w I went. I didn't have money for the trip, and I drove from Florida to New Jersey. I said, "I gotta try some." Wow. I drove alone. Me and my wife, okay. and a lot of bags, and my dog. Wow. And we went to New Jersey. And this is how my life changed. Now you appreciate those days a little more, right? When you think back to those those risks that you took, when you didn't really know when it's just you and your wife and you don't have much to your name, right? Like now that you're doing well, it's nice to look back on those times, I'm yeah, sure, right? Yeah, I, I was getting prepared. Yeah. I know, man, I know. And walking through this fight, I, I was very confident. Even a lot of people say he was the favorite, but I, I was just laughing inside of me because I knew I was I was going to win since, since I signed for the fight because I am... I was getting prepared, man. I, I went, I was under, under, and now where look, I look where I was and where I am now, and man, I was getting prepared for this. This mm. is no way, no way I'm here for somebody's history. That's my history, you know? Mm. I knew it. You were 7 4 and 1 when you took that Miguel Torres fight yes. in MMA. That's when you started with Mark Henry, too, and the team, yes. right? Yes. I, I had two fights. Uh -huh. I, I won two fights, and then. I fought Miguel, and Miguel Torres is my first fight. So, so I had 15 fights with Mark Henry, Ricardo, uh -huh. Frankie, these guys. Yeah, 14 and, and one, right? One, just one loss. Rafael Santa. Yeah. But but how do you go from seven, four, and one, which is kind of like, you know, not a great record, right, to now 14 and one? You're now, what, what's the difference between this Marlon and that Marlon early on? It's all about the confidence, man. Okay, you didn't have confidence early? You got to have the right people around you. Right. People to bring you to an, to the next level. Not with the skills and stuff, but with words and you know they're there, you know. And and bro, these guys knew. They know a lot. Everything I know MMA, I learned with these guys. Mm. I used to fight without knowing what I was doing. Now I fight knowing what I'm doing. Mm. So you think that if you don't go to them, you're not. Sitting? I don't think so. No. No. They, way. they tapped into something that no one else was tapping into. No. No way. You always said the right thing when you were like with with WSOF. You know, you're happy to be there. They treated you well, but deep down inside, you always wanted to be here, right, to prove that you're the best. You knew that you could be better than these guys, right? So yeah, it has it was, to feel good to be validated in this. Yeah, sense. it was a matter of time. Even me and my team, you know, we knew we could do well, but we enjoyed the process, you know, and that was good. I'm thankful for the World Series of Fighting, man. The World Series of Fighting never gonna die. Me, Justin Gage. Yeah. Uh, Branch. Yeah. Anthony Johnson. Yeah. And Arlovisk. Yeah. Man, are we good or not? Yeah. You know, what what the fans think now, you know? Mm -hmm. What everybody else, the haters, always say, oh, you guys are fighting bombs. You guys overpaid. Now they see, you know, we were for real. Mm. But when you were there, did it bother you ever that you weren't being considered among the best that people were saying? It did, I but I always, I always pull Ricardo, Frankie, Mark. Guys, what you guys think I should do? Mm. And they always, they were always honest, and I always tried to follow their opinion, you know? Okay. I always ask my wife, my wife said, oh, always follow your heart. But I did follow my heart, but I always ask these guys. Mm. And I'll lead you, you know, I'm thankful for the advice. I last there as long as I should be. Yeah, know? yeah. Should you be foreign on the UFC? Do you think you beat Rafael Santa? I don't know. The fans know, yeah. the media know, and who watched the fight know. So, I don't know. When's the last time you watched that one? I don't want to watch no more. I, I fought through. It's it's past for me. Uh -huh. I just fought again. You know, everybody, nobody remembered that fight. Everybody sure. remembered the last one. That's right. You, this is how fight is. That's right. People only remember the, your last fight. Yeah. But there's so much more momentum now that you have. I mean, like, it's amazing. You, 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 you have the loss to him technically, but... No one's really talking. Like it's like people forgot about it. It's 
uh, like I was saying, I was I was getting prepared for this. I, I am I'm I'm getting prepared for, for to be the UFC bantamweight champion because make no sense. A lot of people who who, who the people want to watch me against De La Chau, me against Cody or Rafael. You know, Rafael already fought De La Chau. The fight wasn't that excited, you know. And I think I think the fans want to want to see me there. Even some fans want to see. Oh, let's see if this guy is really good. Let's test him. And a lot of fans know. Oh no, I want to see. I think he can win. So I think I am next, you know. So have you been told that? I think I am. No, I, I nobody told me. But it's my time, you know. I know. I know. I done enough and. I'm going to fight for the title. You want to fight for the title next? Your yes. next fight for the belt. Winner yes. of Dillashaw Cody. I want to fight for the title, yeah. Wow. That's big. Who do it, you want to win that fight? I got no preference. No preference? No. No matchup you no, think is better? No, I, I, I got to be honest with you. I've been telling people that I think TJ is going to win. Okay. But they're both two big fighters and two good fighters. High skills, good everywhere. I think... Cody's hands are dangerous. De La Chau kicks and hands are dangerous. They both wrestlers. They could, could both win, you know. Would you rather TJ wins because your management mm -hmm. also represents Cody? Is that awkward for you at all? Or no, no, I don't care. Don't I care. love my manager. Yeah. I want him to do well. If if uh, if you want to be me honest, I better my manager make more money. I want to fight Cody. Okay, so you both, so he yeah. gets for both. Yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah, I want him to do well. I don't care. Keep it in the family. Yeah, I don't care. What if they say to you, okay, Sun Tso wins, or maybe Demetrius Johnson? You know, TJ's gonna fight him. They say maybe Dominic Cruz, John Lineker. Are you <coughs> open to these things, or are you? I fought, fought four times in one year. Yeah. I think it's good, you know. There's not a lot of guys been doing this. Yeah. And when I signed, I told Mark, I said, I want to fight as much as I can, you know, in the UFC. But I feel like now I need a little bit break, you know, mm. slow down, mm. train, learn. And I want to fight for the title. I want to have a good camp and fight next for the title. So you don't mind waiting? Yeah, I want to wait. Maybe a little bit, but I don't want to wait too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now that you have this break now, like, what do you do? Because you're always in, I mean, you're like, you have a 10-pack, a 12-pack. I don't know. Like, you don't get fat. So how do you break? How do you take a vacation? What do you do to relax? Yeah. I feel like you're in the gym. Even I got to be honest break. with you. That was 12 months training. That was hard for me, this camp, because the dates kept changing. Yeah. Supposed to be That's true. February. Yeah. I was already training January, mm -hmm. and then supposed to be April, AC, and no, and then June. I, I am training since January, six months of sparring, and it's, it's I got I got to respect my body a little yeah. bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying I'm hurt. I'm not saying, but I can't I can't look inside my body. I don't know how I am. You know, yeah. I think I need a little bit break. Were you worried at all that maybe you were overtraining? No. I, I had through this fight, I had a biceps ten nights, right bicep ten nights. You know, I, I hurt my rib, my my rib, my friend sh shot, and I have a big was a big bruise mm. right here, and I don't know which one. Oh, my throat was all inflamed. B fight before fight week. Really? This is why how my voice is now. Yeah, I can't count the many many small injuries I had through this. But I knew I just have to fight through and make to fight week. Fight week, I'm going to rest, and I'm going to be 100% sad. That, that's what happened. I was 100% sad. No excuse. Mm -hmm. What was it like in Utica? I, I saw some people joking. There's not a lot of buzz. It's a small town. What was it like for you? You're the headliner, Man, right? I'm from Nova Friburg, Rio de Janeiro, yeah. in Brazil. I'm not the best guy to, to give an opinion about cities, small, yes, yes, you know. Yes. <laughs> but Utica was a small city, yeah. you know, like in the middle of nowhere. Sure. But that is history there, you know. The hotel we stayed was 1912 hotel. Wow. And the people were very nice. They were very happy to have the UFC there. Sure. And me as a UFC fighter, I was very happy to be trapped like I was, you know. They were like, wow, UFC's here, no, 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 you know, the press conference, all the the, the mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were very, very, very nice, you know. It was a big deal. They don't get big events yeah, like this. Yeah, that, that was ve very nice. So you very felt nice. the love? Definitely, definitely. Even though nice. the arena wasn't the biggest arena, it, it felt like a big deal. Yeah, it's more arena, but very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, n n look new. Yeah. Everything clean, you know, I like it. What was that city you said that you're from in Brazil? What is it called? Nova Friburgo. 
Nova Friburgo. Yes. Well, what is on, it? On the mountain. Uh huh. What does that mean, Nova Friburgo? New Freiburg. Freiburg is a city in Switzerland. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. The people they went to my city, the Switzerland people. Yeah. And they 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 have a colony. Colony. Yeah, is colony. that right? Yeah, yeah. And my city just completes two hundred years in May sixteen, and I said a couple interviews that that was my gift to my city. You know, huh. victory Saturday night. Oh, really? Wow. Um, and when did you leave there? How old are you? Um, I I was born in Friburgo and I left 21 years old. And I don't know if, if you hear about, but we had a mudslide there. You remember the mudslides in Brazil? Yeah, what was that, like a, a year ago, two years ago? No, seven, was, seven years ago. Was it seven years I ago? I supposed to leave January 21st and the mudslide was... January 20, one mm -hmm. day before, so I couldn't leave. I have to wait a couple more days to leave. Wow. Yeah. What were your, was your house affected? No, but I lost a couple friends. And you I lost helped friends? It. Yeah, I lost. They died? Lost, yes. Really? And it was a very good neighborhood, but nobody expected the mountain was going down, you know? Wow. Crazy. Where were you while this was happening? In my my wife's house. Okay. We, 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 we look from the window and we see a lot of mountains going down. It was, wow. was crazy. It's like the, the end of the world. That, that was the craziest thing I ever seen in my life. I helped rescue people, and we were in a gymnasium, and I see maybe hundreds of bodies on the ground like this. And dead bodies? Dead bodies. No way. Yeah, because we don't have the... Where, where, how you say the name you take the body when somebody dies? Yeah. To get prepared, to do oh. the wake and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was no room because 500 people die on the same day. Oh my gosh. They have to take them all to a gymnasium to oh, do everything. Man. And I helped carry, you know, it was Ooh. crazy, it was crazy. And that was in your town? My town, not wow. uh, Any of your family members affected? No, okay. thanks God, no. And just a couple of people got stuck oh because God. you couldn't leave your house, have no water. And so you went in there and tried to rescue people? Yeah, help everybody. I put my hands on. Wow. Yeah. Gosh, that has to change. That has to affect that you, was, right? That was my last, last memory from my city. Wow. So when I left, I felt like, man, I need to do something big for, for the city, you know? I think this is something that always touched me, you know? Man, I'm here. I got to give back to them. Yeah. Know? Have you been back since? Yeah. Okay, you go back. The, the city is all good now. Okay. Everything is getting recovered, you know? Everything's good. How are things in Brazil? There, there's gas Not good. issues, right? The yes, man, a lot of problem. Everything's very expensive. A lot of violence Crime. in Brazil. People don't have no work. It's What's hard. It? Yeah, it's, very it's hard. getting worse, right? Getting worse. Man. Why do you think that is? I don't know, man. I, I just think people want to have things in an easy way. Nobody want to work hard. This is what happened with the politics, you know, and, yeah. and everybody. Do you, do, you, do you ever consider going back or are you happy? I don't here? know. I don't know. You're happy here for my now? My mother and my father, they're not here. So I want I want to be near them. Yeah. And if they don't come here one day, I'm going to have to go stay with them. You know? Sure, sure. Everything I'm doing is for them. Sure. They're my family, you know. Do you, do, you, do you want them to come to the States? I want so bad. They don't want? No. No, they like it there. It's all the rest of the family, it's and they're home. very humble. Yeah. They never be on the plane. Never? Never. They never come to visit you here? No, no. My Even first time the... on the plane, too, was because of fight. <laughs> really? Wow. And and you invite them to come? They don't want to come? No. No? No. They give me hard times. Really? Do they watch your fights? Just my father and my mother, no. 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 Why? She's scared. She's scared. Even yeah. after the fact? You show her, this is what I did. She don't like to watch, not even after. Really? Does your father watch it live? Yeah, he watched, but he got to stop watching. He's getting too nervous lately. Yeah. My last fight, my mother said he almost have a heart attack. Really? Yeah, he got to stop. Which, Aljamain Sterling? No, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> I told him, stop to watch. He yeah, don't yeah, respect yeah. me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> because the buildup. It was such a big fight. And you have siblings? Yes. I have one brother and two sisters on my father's side. Uh -huh. They don't live with me. And I have a sister on my mother's side. We grow up together, and we're a little bit more close. And and they're in Brazil? Or the, yes. All of them? All, everybody. You're the only knows. one who came to the I'm States. I'm the only one. That's here. amazing. Yeah. That must have been tough early on, right? Tough. Yeah. Not in having family, but you came with your wife. No, I came by myself. Okay. But where did you meet your wife? Back home? I, m I met her Yeah. there, but she was a nurse. She had a very good job in Brazil, 
and she could not leave because she had the job. And when I got here, I did a couple fights. It wasn't too good. I was making like $100 a week. And I told her, you sure you want to come? It's going to be hard. And I, I start to get privates. And she said, oh, I want to go. I want to be with you. She came. She left everything to, wow. to live my dream. Wow, that is amazing. I'm very thankful for her. You know, I think without her, we, I wasn't going to be here where wow. I am now. Where did you get married? I got married here. In America? We only married in America. Wow, but so then your family wasn't there? No, just me and her. It was. I left, was was funny. We have a picture, and I, I, I taught the class, and I left, me and my wife, we have gym clothes, and we, we got married in the gym clothes, and we have a picture, like, <laughs> kissing. Not even wearing a suit? No. Where, at city? No money for suit, my friend. Wow. <laughs> How long ago was that? In 2011. 2011. She got here. We have to marry because she needs the visa. Okay. You know? And you, did you have a visa? I had a P1. Ah, wow. And so where'd you get married? Like City Hall or something? No, we got married in a court. court. In court? Just a court. Wow. No party, nothing. And, and no money for a suit? No, no money for not even Anything. a nice club. Where were you living at the time? I was living in the gym back in Florida. You were living and, in the gym? Yeah, not in the gym. I was training and teaching in uh -huh. this gym armory. Yeah. Edson got me the job. Okay. And they have a house with other guys, like three guys. Three rooms and three guys, and I have a small room. Wow. So then when you got married, your wife came in there with you? And she was living with me oh in that small room, you know. That is unbelievable. And now look at you. Main yeah. event. I have my house now. <laughs> yes. that's You have your own house. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Two kids on the yeah. cusp of a title fight. Yeah. You've come along. I see your smile. It's, it's, yeah, what I mean, a journey, I'm happy, man. man. I what a journey. I never have a room back home in Brazil. Now I have a house. That's incredible. When you <laughs> That's grew up, crazy. you didn't have your own room. No. I used to sleep in my mother and father room on the ground. Wow. Yeah. Uh, on a mattress? Yeah, they have a mattress for me. How big was the house? My father and my mother, they're very nice. They let me sleep on the bed maybe until 8. Then, okay, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. they said, man, you got to go to the ground. You're too big. You're too big. <laughs> How big was the house? Two, 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 two rooms, two you know, rooms. one, two, maybe four rooms okay. and that one bedroom. Are they still there at that house or are they no, somewhere no, else? No, I, I brought them a house, a very good house, thanks God. Okay. Yeah. So they're in a safe neighborhood. Yes, thanks. That's amazing. Do you think if you fight for the belt, they'll like maybe one day they'll come watch you fight or never? No, never. Never? No. Wow. Can't, and they can't. They, they can't do too it? Too old for this. Too old, okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, I hope it happens to you, my friend. Yes. It's been great. When do you think, when, when do you feel it's going to happen, the title fight? What's your vision? This year. You think this year? Yeah, this is what I want. End of the year, maybe? Because the I title fight is August, so maybe December or something? November, November, December? Yeah. Perfect, no? That's nice. End of the year card. Yeah. Las Vegas. So you don't ask the UFC, okay, what are you going to do? What, 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 what am I getting now? You haven't had that conversation yet? I said after the fight, I want to fight for the belt. Yes, I know. That's it. There's no conversation needed. It is what it is. I gotta, you got you to gotta say what you got to say. I appreciate that. I did. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy for you, Marlon. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I very, really appreciate I'm it. very, very happy to be here. Oh, you know, it is my honor. Because, man, I was 10 years old and I was renting DVDs and I was just thinking like Kimbo's Lies, Royce Grace, Fedor, Chuck Liddell, these guys, man, Dominic Cruz, and watching them on TV and renting the tapes because yeah. back there the UFC wasn't even in the DVDs. Yeah. Man, I'm a UFC fighter now. And I just won the main event, and bro, I, I'm working my way, almost fighting for a, a title. You know, that's unbelievable. I don't know. It's incredible. No, I'm so Can happy you for you. Please yeah. wake me up. You? Yeah, I know. I, I'm telling you because everyone always says, like uh, Mark Henry told me, you're the guy. You help everyone in the gym. You're the, you're the best teammate. He said, you're always helping everyone. You're always so humble, and you're the same guy. And I, I even told him, Frankie Edgar, same guy. Right, same guy from when I met him, champion. Now, same guy, and you're the exact same way. You remind you remind me of a mini Frankie. Still the same guy from World Series of Fighting. Now, uh, main event UFC. You're the same guy. So I hope that you yeah, remain the same. Uh, I have a little doubt on my mind because I used to see a lot of champions, and I see these guys, and man, I don't fit with these guys. Uh. Do I want to be a champion? Because I don't want to be like this guy. You know, like guys like they think they're too too good. You know, and when I first see Frankie. And he like hug me and say hello, what's up? Let's go, let's train, you know, give me a hot ride. Man, he's the champion. Look how he is. I wanna be a champion, you know? And man, I'm very thankful to meet these guys. They changed my life and Ricardo Almeida, Frankie Edgar, 
Jerry, Mr. Nap, Frankie's yes. father-in-law. He right. let me stay his house. Mark Henry, Rick, uh, Brian Blue, the conditioning training. Anderson Franca, my coach, I always, he's not all the time with us on training, but I always bring him for the fights because I'm very thankful. You know, yeah, I want to yeah. have him on my sure, corner. Sure, sure. And man, I, Edson, Eddie, look, look, Hanzo Gracie. Yeah. Look, I, he's my team. Yeah. I can't believe. Legends. I'm with these guys, man. I, I think I'm in the right place. Good for you. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm really happy for you and the victory on, on Friday, and, and I hope you get what you want next. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, and I'm very happy to be here, and thanks. I appreciate the support. My friend Joe is going to walk you out over there, so thank you very much, Marlon. Thank you. All the best to you, and thanks for making the trek, the long thanks. trek from uh, I wanna from I want to send a kiss for my wife, Isabella. Please, please. She's watching us. Absolutely. Send her a kiss. Uh, Bye. Thank you. a lot to you. Thank you so much, Marlon. Thank there you. he is. Have a good day.